Hello guys, um, today I'm gonna be showing you um, how to 3D motion track in only After Effects CS6, the new version that's been released now. So I'm going to do a tutorial on that. So yeah, so what I have here is just a cinematic, um, yeah, just a moving easy cinematic. So what what you're gonna do is just right click on the clip. It's so easy by the way. You just right click on the clip and go to track camera. Um and now it will go like uh it added like free the camera tracker and then uh it's like time remaining one minute and it go through all the frames up here. Um so I will just be back because it will take more than a minute so I will be back when this is done uh, okay guys I'm back so uh, when you have done this it's uh, pretty much gonna look like this it has like some blue, red, green, pink yeah dots over all the screen and basically what you wanna do is just go uh, and take a place where it looks good like if you do like this then you just take a place that's looking pretty good that's straight uh, on that's straight and looks on the ground not like that one that's not that good I think but yeah like that um, now what you wanna do is just, when you're clicked you wanna right click create text and camera click on that and I think this will lag a little bit I don't know really I think CS6 is uh, pretty pretty laggy um, you see not responding but it says like that for me every time so but if you want to uh, 3D motion tracking and uh, fast then this is the right program for you but yeah I don't know if I'm still going to uh, be doing this but I mean using this program because I think CS6 if CS5 is better actually because this is a little bit more laggier Okay, guys, this is taking forever here. There you go. Okay, um, so now we got a camera and a text. And if we scroll through this, it's motion tracked, but you don't want it on the text. Um, let's drop this to quarter because it's taking forever here. Uh, okay, I will just do like this. Uh, by the way, click on this render ray trade tra traced 3D. Click on that and change the ray tracing quality to around two or three, just for now, because um, it will take forever to render the text and stuff like that. So, um, okay. So what you want to do is just take the rotation tool and drag it up. Like that, and then maybe drag it on the side here, and that's looking pretty good, I think. Um, uh, and what you can do is uh, you go to your text and go down, and this is a cool um feature that that uh, only CS6 have the ge geometry options and you wanna go to extra extraction def think and drag that out and now you get the def of the text but it's not looking that good but you just wanna turn it up to something that you like to about there it's good for me so now what you wanna do is just go ahead and do a light as uh, so a layer new light and basically you want to pick a color uh, what you want the 
text will kind of look like so I will just pick with some color yeah we'll just use this little dark gray for some odd reason but yeah now you got pretty decent 3d text um, let's bring this down a little bit yeah and then you could add one more light kinda uh, like a lightish bluish get like that then looking pretty good yeah I think this is looking really good but yeah now if we scroll through this it's all motion tracked and really nice but you can't get the like the shadows that you have in your Cinema 4D and the material and stuff like that but this is a really fast way of doing motion track so but yeah I'm gonna show you how to do a really fast shadows what you can do is just go and add the, and you can go ahead and make a new solid and make it fully black and um, you wanna take the mask tool or the rectangle tool and just drag a rectangle out like this and you wanna place it underneath the text underneath here like that and you wanna go to mask settings and put the mask feather to about yeah pretty much actually wait you, you might wanna try this down a bit um, but like that you you basically see now you have some dark little shadows but that's the only way I've been seeing but yeah that's looking pretty good in my options um, now if you want to go ahead and render you just go to render and you go to your options and put the ray tracing quality to about 10 uh, and then click OK and then you wanna go to your composition uh, yeah add your and queue and render it out cause you wanna have the best possible possible quality uh, when you're done or when you're going to render but as I, as I said in the beginning um, this takes about fucking ages to render this out just this one fucking frame <laughs> Um, but yeah guys if if you enjoyed this tutorial please leave a like and a comment below um, and if you wanna try out uh, After Effects I will put a donor link in the description to Adobe's After Effects Adobe's website I mean <laughs> um, and you can download that just the trial version and you see now the text is looking more decent now um, but if you have a better computer you can turn it up a little bit more but yeah that's about it um, 